Hi guys, it's your girl Miani here. I'm going to do a video today talking about my skin and how I go about moisturizing it. Um, just because I have super sensitive skin from my face, um, especially like my chest and my back area. And <clears throat> my issue is my skin is so sensitive that I cannot use anything that says fragrance on it. So when I buy when I purchase anything or prior to purchasing it, I have to look on the back. And if it says perfume, P-A-R, perfume, or um, fragrance on there, I cannot buy it. And if I do, I will break out. Um, I'll get like really tiny bumps all over my shoulders or chest or whatever. So I've been very careful with the products that I've been using on my skin um, just to prevent that whole breakout and trying to treat it. Because it's not cute and it leaves you feeling like, ugh. Like, who wants to be walking around with back knee and all that jazz? So, um, I've kind of perfected it, or for my skin anyway. When I was living in Philly in the wintertime, it, you know, it got kind of dry and, and just very cold. Like, that cold can be hard on your skin. I would, at night, I would normally put um, baby oil gel all over my legs. Then I'll put, like, my leggings on and I'll go to bed. <clears throat> But I will put it on like as soon as I got out the shower. That way I'm locking in the moisture um, from the shower, locking it into my skin with the baby oil gel. Now, I noticed in the morning time when I woke up, my skin didn't necessarily feel um, any more moisturized than it did before. So it, it just, it wasn't working, but that's all I could use at that time. That was the best thing that I found. Um, since then, I tried the Talia Wajid oil. The, uh, what is it? The one that's for your hair or whatever. Now that works really, really good. I love the way it smells and I love the fact that when I put it on my legs, it leaves my skin feeling smooth like the very next day. It's almost like that instant gratification that you get from that product and I love that. But I found something that's even cheaper. It's easier for me to make. I don't have to worry about it like, um getting oil on my clothes because that was the issue with the Talia Wajid especially if I wore white it would just rub off onto my clothes and leave like dirt marks and all that other stuff so um glycerin and water is what I have been using for the past year and that's what I have in this little bottle right here and um you can get the glycerin it's vegetable glycerin you can get it from the Whole Foods store um Trader Joe's might have it. Any of those stores that have like the holistic kind of uh, setup and products and stuff like that, you can get it from there. I'm not going to show you guys the product on this on YouTube because they act a little funny with posting and, and copyrights and all that stuff. So I'm not going to post it on here, but I will leave information down below of the brand. Um, it's the Now brand and I get the, the big bottle. It's about this big. And um, what I do is... I normally would put it into a spray bottle like this. So I fill my bottle up, maybe one third of this bottle is going to be the vegetable glycerin and then I fill the rest up with water. Now, when you put it in here and you just shake it up, you can put it in, you can, the consistency that you want, you can basically do it however you want it to come out. Now, the way that I know Mine is the right consistency for me. When you put it on, it shouldn't feel just like water. It should have kind of like, um, it glides on, I should say. You should know that you have something in this water and it's not just spraying on your body like water. So see how that's just going on? And when I do this, I put it like all over my body. I'll come out the shower and I just spray my body down with this product all from head to toe every single wear and I don't have a problem with the breaking out and it feels so freaking good I mean crazy there is a downside to this product and I will go over that a little bit later um but with this this is also something that gives you instant gratification I've noticed like if I put it on my skin uh right before I go to bed in the morning time when I wake up my skin feels so freaking good like I've caught myself actually laying in bed like half asleep just rubbing on my leg because it feels <laughs> so soft and it's crazy like I love the way it feels so um with vegetable glycerin the way it works um 
Glycerin just basically attracts moisture and that's what it's going to do. It's going to pull any kind of moisture that's in the air, in the atmosphere, into your skin. So that's why I choose when I do it, I'll do it right after I get out the shower. Um, I'll do it in the, sh actually I'll do it in the shower because it's hot and misty from, you know, the, the shower that I just took. And it'll be pulling some of that moisture into my, my body, into my skin. Now, the bad thing with this is it pulls the moisture out of the air. But if you're in a dry climate, um, let's say like Colorado, where I just was, this product does not work well for me in Colorado. Just because Colorado um, doesn't have a lot of humidity, therefore it's a more dry atmosphere. And this will actually work against you. What I'm saying is if you put this on your skin in a climate or atmosphere like Colorado um, where there's no moisture in your skin, this is going to work against you by pulling the moisture from your skin. So it's going to pull moisture from somewhere. If it's not getting it from the atmosphere, it's going to get it from your skin. So this isn't going to be doing you a service. It's actually going to be working against you. So it has to really um, be a climate that has moisture because... It, it doesn't matter where it's coming from, it's going to pull moisture from somewhere. So um, if you were, if you live in like Colorado, um, Alaska, somewhere like that, this wouldn't be the product for you just because it doesn't, it's not going to work for you in a positive way. It's actually going to make you off, worse off than you actually are. It's going to give you drier skin. Uh, that was the problem I was running into. I would put it on at night, uh, wake up in the morning, my shit was ashy. <laughs> I could actually sit there and probably scribble my name in um, my skin because it was so dry. Nothing I tried in Colorado worked for me for moisture. Um, I will say I did not break out at all in my face though. Like if I put on makeup when I was in Colorado, I didn't have any kind of breakout, like, at all. So that was a plus. But my skin was dry. It was horrible. It did not work. Here in Tampa, it works. Um, in Philly, it definitely worked. But you have to be very careful when you use this product. So just do your research about the moisture level, um, the humidity in the, the state that you live in just to see if this will be something for you but I do urge you guys to try it now the big bottle um I think might be like 12 or 13 dollars from where did I get mine there's a place here I can't remember the name gems living something um and I got mine it was like eight dollars now that's gonna last you quite some time because you're only putting in you're doing basically the ratio is going to be one to one to two um, one part uh, glycerin, two parts water. Now, one more thing that I will warn you about. I wouldn't suggest getting a bottle that's bigger than this. Even though you will use it every day, or I use mine every day, I'd rather go about refilling this bottle as it runs out. I wouldn't get the really big ones. Because what do you get with moisture? With moisture, you get mildew. So the longer you have this in the bottle and it's not being used every day constantly, it's just sitting there, it will create mildew. So you'll start to see like little black dots, little spores in the bottle if you just happen to leave it laying around for like days on days on days uh, without using it. So that's why I say definitely stick with the smaller bottle and always um, replenish and refresh and get more product in there as it runs out as opposed to be cutting it slick, getting a big one to be more um, saving time. It's not worth it. Uh, one thing that you can do if you find yourself with... Hello. How you doing? If you find yourself with... I don't know this number. I don't know that number. If you find yourself with um, mold spores in these, um, which I have found, I found it quite some time because I lost this bottle one time and I can't find it. What I did was I got a pipe cleaner, which I actually have in my hair right now. A pipe cleaner will do the trick in cleaning this bottle out. I just basically bend the, the pipe cleaner in half. I stuck it into the bottle and I swished it around. It got all those pores out. Uh, the same thing with the, the pumping part, like the little straw that's in there. You want to take that filter off the bottom, put the pipe cleaner through that, get all those little spores out of there and clean around the top. Um, that's if you just, if you want to clean it out. I mean, you can always get another one. It's a dollar, but a pipe cleaner it comes in. If you have dreads, you probably already have one. So definitely the pipe cleaner will be a quick way to clean this bottle out, get your product back in there, start moisturizing your skin. Um, 
I love it. So that's my little trick uh, for the few people that's been asking me about my skin and what I put on there and telling me, oh, your skin is so beautiful. Like, I really do thank you guys. Um, it took me a while to find something that works for me. And I've been using it for about a year and a half, uh, maybe two years now. And I absolutely love it. I, I, I don't think I'm going to try anything else. Maybe if I find something that's better or somebody tell me something else. I'll give it a try, but this has been working for me. Um, one thing I will say, though, if it is hot as crap outside <laughs> and you put this on, it will kind of make you sweat. That's why I, I tend to put it on at night. Like, I'll take a really late shower. Um, sometimes I'll get up like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, take a shower, then go back to bed after I put this on. Um, I wouldn't put it on if I'm about to go outside and it's going to be hot and steamy because you will start sweating. The way that this makes your body feels like it's really slick and you will start sweating like crazy when you have this on. So um, it's really good for moisturizing. You just have to be careful. Do your research. Do a little bit of testing just to see how it will work for you and how you should go about using it. Let me know if you guys do try it. Let me know if you're trying it already. Um, if you have any other comments or concerns, definitely post a comment below and I'll get back to you. I will answer you as soon as I can. Um... That's all I have for this video, really. If you actually try this and you end up making a video, feel free to post it down below. Send me a, me a message first, though, <laughs> to let me know that you did because most of the time my um my inbox is it's like really wacky and I avoid them because I keep getting like the same messages over and over again even though I check them so definitely send me a message um telling me that you you know you tried it or a comment because I really want to see if anyone else tries it and what little twist they might put on it for for it to work even better for them so um gonna get out of here now maybe I'll do another video I actually have one video that I want to do a tag that I saw and I think is absolutely funny um, so I might work on that right now. Until next time, guys. It's me, Annie. Peace.